little out of place here. I uh, uh, am so pleased to see such a, an outstanding group that has come together uh, here at ECMOD. And uh, on behalf of both NASA and USAID uh, and the SEVERE project, uh, we are uh, very excited about uh, the future that lays ahead with our partnership at, at MENRIS and ECMOD. And um, SEVERE was a project that was started uh, back in 2005 in the Mesoamerican region. And that's a, a place, it's about one half of one percent of the land mass in the world, and yet they get about a, a disaster every six weeks. So we, we at uh, SEVERE have gotten quite familiar with responding to disasters. So um, what I'd like to do this morning briefly is walk through where NASA, where NASA uh, sees disaster uh, response and how SEVERE fits into that overall um, program. Uh, as the DG mentioned, NASA Administrator Bolden will be arriving on Monday to announce uh, on Tuesday the launching of uh, SEVERE Himalaya. And if you notice, the Applied Sciences program, which SEVERE fits into, is where the disaster uh, focus is within NASA. So it's only three levels down uh, within the agency. Uh, you can see here the vision and mission for the Applied Sciences program. And the real focus is uh, the geocidal benefit areas, particularly as the climate variability is increasing and we see uh, pretty significant impacts throughout the world. Uh, in the overall structure in the US, the, the White House OSTP uh, subcommittee has presented six grand challenges in, in terms of disaster reduction. And where NASA really fits in is, is the first four uh, that you see listed there. And taking uh, what we like to say the last mile or last kilometer, if you will, where you do research, you do science, but then how do you connect it to the people that are really impacted by that? Um, and so we have lots of assets, spaceborne, airborne, lots of analysis capabilities. So that really fits into providing information uh, of the grand challenges. And uh, in terms of as a research agency, how can we help improve understanding? Uh, and, and that's really where the applied sciences piece falls in. Here you can see the disasters defined in this disaster reduction uh, document. And in terms of research, NASA is funding quite a bit in uh, these areas. So again, as I was mentioning earlier, the real challenge that we find, and I think the exciting thing about the SEVERE project and, and as we begin to look forward with our partners here at, at ECMOD is taking that information that we find in our research academies, in the science that NASA is funding, and, and how do we operationalize that? How do we work with uh, the researchers that are developing flood models and develop that into something that's useful for response agencies? Because one of the things that NASA, I, I hate to admit, is uh, been notorious with is, is doing great research and then kind of throwing it over the wall and hoping someone catches it and, and will do something with it. And, and I think a lot of that comes from the fact that NASA is a research or organization and so the mission is not to uh, take it that next step. And so the exciting thing about the SEVERE project, uh, which you will be hearing more about throughout the week, is that that's where we get kind of crossing the line because we're partnered with USAID, USAID and in terms of working in the developing world we can be that conduit between pure science and research and the actual field. Here is a listing by areas of some of the current funded research uh, being done in the applied science 
uh, program area. So you can see we cover earthquakes, hurricanes, fires, uh, tsunami, floods, all the way down to human health. And so where do we stand now? Applied Sciences is uh, working on dis the disaster response plan in this year and beyond just cataloging what we have available as resources, it's starting to understand what is needed. And again, that's where the context of SEVERE is so exciting because we want to engage with you and understand what your needs are so that we can then tie those back into the research that's being done um, and funded by, by NASA so that that research is ending up in the hands of people that can really use it. Uh, here you have a, a, a catalog of some of the assets that we have um, both in space and uh, airborne. Um, and then also significant modeling and, and data processing capability. So again, the, the, the real challenge as a research organization, and, and, and I'm hoping that as Revere Himalaya moves forward, we've had quite good luck with our centers in Mesoamerica and uh, East Africa working with the regional partners to understand how, how can we provide the place in, in the path that allows that research to get in uh, and made applicable for your needs. So we have the ability with our aircraft to uh, respond uh, most recently uh, in the States with uh, the leaking oil well. NASA spent a lot of resources trying to help uh, manage that. And so there is the ability to respond with, with aircraft in that regard. Um, but again, as NASA's severe Himalaya, we are really going to rely upon your input and feedback as we, we develop this relationship so that we can really figure out the, the best ways of connecting. I think probably the most exciting opportunity now and why I think we really need to get the, the, the discussion uh, started is that as the decadal missions are getting planned, we actually have the opportunity and have the uh, interest of those planning the missions to understand what the application needs are. How, how can the end user help us define the, the, the instruments that are going to be flying so that the data that we're getting out of them are more easily uh, process and, and, and in your hands so that you can really use it to benefit. So with that, I, I would like to close by saying it, it is truly an honor to, to be here on the beginning of the more formalized relationship that we have uh, with our newest partner here in the Himalaya region. And uh, I ask as you move forward in your process that you will think about Severe Himalaya and ECMOD as a way to feed your needs so that we can be more efficient at what we do in the U.S. So I wish you uh, a most wonderful pre-symposium and, and uh, symposium as well. So thank you very much.